we're going to be identifying some different kind of numbers today. So let's take a little look. First question, have you ever been to a swimming pool? I've got a picture of one here. This is quite a large swimming pool, almost an Olympic sized swimming pool. Maybe you've been to a swimming pool on holiday and you've been somewhere near a beach or a resort, part of a hotel. All swimming pools are slightly different. When you learn about swimming or go to the pool, it may be that you're told to walk really carefully down the steps to reach the bottom or get into the water. So you've got some steps there on the left as you step into the water, getting a bit deeper. And on the right, there's a ladder. Sometimes there's a ladder at the side of the pool so that you can climb in using the ladder. So what we're going to be looking at today. Here is a picture of a set of steps on the left and then a ladder on the right. Both of them going into the pool. You may have noticed that I've coloured the steps. The first step is light green, the second purple, the third is red and so on. The same is true of the ladder, so they match, the colours match. I've got a question for you now, if you were going swimming with a friend. Suppose your friend puts you on step four. Can you see our friend on step four? You only want to go a little way into the water, so you head for the red step. Can you see the step that's coloured red? Put your finger on it if you can. Stepping down carefully, one step at a time, how many steps will you have to take? Can you count how many steps you have to take to get from step four to the red step? Pause the video if you want a little bit more time. I've got another question now. Be maybe feeling a bit braver. Now you're going into the water and your friend says, why don't you start on step two? You're going to now crawl, go into the pool, stepping down carefully onto the steps or using the ladder to go from step two down to the blue step. Can you see the blue step all the way at the bottom? It is the deepest step. How many steps will it take to get from step two down to the bottom blue step? Pause the video if you want a bit more time to count. Now we've got a little friend to help us. You've finished swimming now and you've swum to the yellow step. Looks like you're very good at holding your breath underwater. You're going to meet your friend who's up at the top on step five. Now how many steps will you need to go from the yellow step all the way up to meet your friend on step five? How many steps do you have to take when you take each step one at a time? Can you count them? Again, pause the video if you want a little bit more time. You and your friend have finished your swimming now. Although you quite like the colour steps, but you want to number them now instead. Can you see the water level? Our steps count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, until we get to that water level. And then we've got the coloured steps under the water. Can you invent your own way of numbering the steps which go underwater? Can you label the green, purple, red, yellow, dark green and blue steps with your own system? I'm looking forward to finding out what you've decided to do.